St. Gabriel Catholic Radio is pleased to bring you this gospel reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez for the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. The gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this Sunday we celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord upon, upon Mount Tabor. Jesus went up Mount Tabor with Peter, James, and John. They had been gathered for the Feast of Booths, but he set them aside and he wanted to reveal himself to them. There upon Mount Tabor, the voice of the Heavenly Father was heard. Jesus was seen conversing with Moses and Elijah, a sign of the fulfillment of the, that Jesus himself was the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. Moses had led the Hebrew people uh, to, through the Passover uh, from slavery in Egypt to freedom uh, through the Red Sea. Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind with the chariots, with the Shekinah, the glory of the Lord was seen, and he went up. He made his type of Passover, but the definitive Passover, the fulfillment of both the law represented by Moses and the prophets represented by Elijah is in Jesus. He will pass over from death to life. At this stage of St. Matthew's Gospel, though, Jesus has not yet had to endure his passion, but he knows that his destiny will be in the cross and in the, eventually the resurrection. But he is glorified upon Mount Tabor so that when he has to speak to his disciples about his own death, his own Passover from death to life, they will have this consolation, that Jesus himself will be glorified. And if they share in his cross, they will also share in his resurrection. And so upon Mount Tabor, Jesus was glorified. Peter was a little bit confused. He wanted to build three booths. And yet he also says, Lord, it is good for us to be here. It is good for us to be here, uh, as to be together as Catholics, especially at Mass. But sometimes we think, oh, Lord, it is good for us to be here for 45 minutes to an hour on Sunday, and we check the box, and we don't realize that we need to come down from the mountain and engage the world with the joy of the gospel. Sometimes we think, ah, Lord, it is good to be here with you at Mass in church as an escape from my life. But again, the Lord wants to strengthen us with his word, with his sacrament, with his very glory, so that we can come down from Mount Tabor and carry out the mission entrusted to us. Yes, Lord, it is good for us to be here, but we also have to be about the mission. And to be about the mission of proclaiming the gospel, we also need to listen to God, to listen to the person of Jesus Christ and what he says to us. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Constantly we need to listen to the Lord and to identify the Lord Jesus as the son of the father. If we see Jesus, we have seen the father and we want to proclaim God's mercy, God's love, and God's power over sin and death itself, which will be manifested in the resurrection. Every time we celebrate the mystery of the Eucharist, we are celebrating the death and resurrection of the Lord. So we need not fear suffering or the cross because we have the consolation of the resurrection that comes from the joy of knowing Jesus Christ and sharing in his life. Thanks for joining us for this gospel reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez. If you'd like to listen to it again or share it with a friend, please visit the Bishop Fernandez podcast page at stgabrielradio.com.